Hey guys, welcome to this recap of Indian Matchmaking Episode 3 in ABCD. You guys, we're going to learn in this episode what is an ABCD and Vera, she is so hilarious. So I like how with this show, it opens up with uh, showing, or so not just open up, but it shows couples sharing their relationship. And how this episode opens up is that we have a couple, uh, they talk about how they were introduced uh, they actually got married quite quick. They were engaged for one month and then married the next month. And they've been married since thir- for, for 34 years. And they have been together ever since. So now we get to see Vera. And remember, where we last left off was Vera was meeting the family. And so she meets Ashe's family with the support of Seema. And we learn that the, this is the first time that Ashe has anyone come to meet his family. So this is such a privilege, such an honor for Vera. She must be something special. So we learn from Vera what an ABCD is. And it is an American-born confused Desi. And Vera wants to make it very clear that she is very Desi. And so she kind of shows off to her to his parents that she's able to speak Girati and you know the mother was so shocked she's like oh you speak and she explains that uh, the reason why she knows how to speak Girati is from her grandmother she learned from her grandmother and she found that to be important for her to not only know the language but also her partner to know the language and of course I remember back in the previous season when Vera she made it a point that her partner that's that Seema finds for her speaks Jirachi. So, oh, of course, this is a perfect match, perfect, perfect match. And, you know, the parents, they are smiling. They are happy. Uh, they have a good laugh about Ashe's lateness. And they really bond about something simple as that. The family just likes them as a couple. I feel like everything is, like, ready to go and they're ready to get married. So the mom was a librarian and Vera, she jokes how Ashe should read more. And the way the mom laughed, she, you could tell she wishes that her kids could read more. Both her kids don't read. So this is such a great fit. And they say that, you know, Vera is welcome anytime. So she's a part of family. So it's up to Ashe to really, you know, get things going. So now we're in Delhi for Rushali and she meets Tushar as as we all saw coming okay we all saw this coming it was of course gonna be Tushar and already they have a lot in common and he does such a great thing already once he meets her he immediately compliments her and you know they get into conversation and they're already laughing the energy how they're syncing with each other is just perfect so he he lets her know that he googled some fun questions to ask on a date which I thought was super cute because, you know, he was nervous and he wanted to leave a good impression to Rushali. So she finds him handsome and, of course, he, he finds her attractive. So I think that this is a great setup, great match. And even better is when he asks her about poetry. And, of course, she is happy to explain her love for poetry. She actually likes to write love poetries. But she feels like when she shared it with others, people think that she's just heartbroken. He can actually relate. And he shares that when he puts it on Instagram to share it with people, people ask him if he's all right, which makes Rushali laugh because she's obviously able to understand that. So I thought he was just super positive, high, a good amount of energy. Uh, the only thing I found that there was an issue was when they got into a conversation about family. Uh, they both disagree about the role of family. He feels like his growth is actually shortened uh, when he's with his family and that he, his parents and him understand uh, the beauty of distance. So this is completely opposite for Rishali, guys. This may be an issue. And I don't know, but I I have hopes. I, I think they have a great chance. I think she should go on another date with him for sure. Now we are in Davis, California. And we are meeting a new single, and his name is Vikash. He 
guys, he is a hype man. Um, he is a wedding dancer. He is just living his best life. Uh, he is actually ready to be married and he's done with the single life. So here is Sima here to help. So a little bit about Viskash is that he is 39 and Sima asked him, why aren't you married yet? Pretty much. And he says it's because he works a lot and he is picky. Viskash, her criteria, his criteria for a partner is someone who is fun, has a lot of energy, charismatic, attractive. Um, he recognized that, you know, he's a bigger guy, so he's not expecting someone with a six pack. So he wants he wants someone who is taller than 5'3". He wants kids um, aged between 32 to 42, educated, and be a part of the Brahmin community. Um, he is actually, that's what he, he realizes that is ideal, but he's really leaning towards it. He's open to other communities, but Sima is here to check him. She is shocked because first of all, he is not practicing anything Brahmin, okay? Sima just crossed that out of his list for him, okay? That is not necessary. So he would also like someone who speaks Hindi, but that may be difficult because they're in someone in America that speaks Hindi that's quite a unique and rare, especially Hindi well. So we'll see. He's I obviously based on his list, he is super picky. So we're back over to London for Priya, and she is feeling optimistic, but man, 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 man. Her mom is just waiting to believe it. And when she sees her daughter married, then she'll believe it. And I, at the end of this, uh, have the same sentiments. So Simi has a, Sima has a new man to show her. His name is, is Jay Vasani. And he is six feet, Girardi, active lifestyle. He is an only child. Um, Priya, she was quite short of words when she saw his bio data on paper he sounds great but from in this scene i didn't gather or get the sense that she felt attracted to him so she says that she wouldn't mind you know uh, going on a date with him but she wouldn't choose this person on her own and already i can remember the situation with bobby so she says she's open to it but I'm like her mom now. I'm like, we'll see it and then we'll believe it, okay? So we're back in India for Vaira and our girl wants to shop since she's already here, y'all. She says, I'm in India and while in India, we shop. So she likes this bracelet and the, and the man, he tells her that it's $4,000 and I was like, oh my God, $4,000, that's a lot. Then... Uh, a necklace for $15,750. And I'm like, oh my God. But guys, it gets even higher than that. The next is this earring that is $27,400. And I'm like, huh? Are they really going to buy this right now? So Vera asks Ashe if he wants to try anything. And he says, yeah, uh, I want to see some rings. And I'm like shocked and gagged because I'm like, is this the, are they going to do ring shopping right now? And the man says for an, ask, ask, ask uh, Ashe, is this for an engagement function? And they both say they are just looking. Um, Ashe, he picks out a bracelet that's shape of a ring. And, um, she, you know, this this okay wait no so asha he picks out a bracelet that is the shape of a ring that vera likes okay and vera she realizes that she says yeah i like it and you know he asks if she wants it she you know doesn't answer and he just decides to get her a bracelet and the earrings to match so y'all i think the next step is coming so back over to california um Sima is with Viskash and his parents, okay? So Sima shows potential matches to the family and to Viskash. First, we have Sonia. She is 34, tall, 
five nine, happy go lucky, speaks Hindi, but she doesn't want kids. And the parents, they were like not happy with that at all. So it was on to the next. Next, we have uh, Venita. She doesn't speak Hindi, uh, and sh she has a height requirement. She requires men to be 5'10", and he was not too happy about that because he feels like, wow, what a contradiction that, you know, guys can ask what they want, but girls, women can ask what they want. So one other thing which was a good sign from Venita was that she was willing to relocate. The family actually liked that part of her. So next we had Anjali and she's in California. She's 5'5", five five, type A. She actually knows how to speak uh, Hindi. Uh, she has a she type A personality, okay? And then she also speaks Hindi. She wants someone with hair. And when she had that on her bio data information, you know, this guy, she's thinking he may not qualify. But Sima, she is reassuring. She's like, no, no one can get 100% of what uh, they want on their list. So he, you know, after reading the bio data for Anjali, he wants to meet her. You know, she's local, so why not? So we're back in London, and we get to see Priya on her date with Jay. So her first impressions is that he's a nice guy. And already with that impression, I know this was not going to be a match. They talk and they get to know each other. But what was alarming for her is that he has never lived with a, with a woman. So uh, so she, she was quite judgmental of that with of, to him. And I didn't get any sense of chemistry or anything that can build from that. So they both concluded that they'll end the date and they just end the date and move on. And you could tell it was over with that awkward goodbye. So we're back. Oh my gosh. Just thinking about Priya. We, we want to find a match for Priya. We're going to find you a match, Priya, okay? So we're back over to Viskash and I'm excited to see his date he is ready for his date too so they're going painting and then he walks in she's already there and they automatically hug and of course he has to say a funny response and says oh we're already on hugging terms so i thought that was interesting maybe i think that's a sign that he likes her but we really have to keep our eyes out on this until the next episode so i thought this episode was pretty good i'm excited for vera because vera she's almost at the end she's uh, she's on the way to get proposed to so i'm excited for her and now with priya we just gotta pray and think about priya hopefully she could find someone that's a match i think what's really important for her is to find someone that she's attracted to so with this guy we are you know starting this journey with him he is our new a single so we'll see in the next episode how his date went and i need a follow-up of bobby how is bobby doing i need him out of the friend zone so guys if you enjoyed this episode do not forget to like share and subscribe i appreciate every one of you and don't forget share as much kindness as possible goodbye